It's the Raw Some Vegan Gal here, and today I got some great products from a company called Bees Wrap. And here is something, it comes in a assorted three pack, and then I also have a single uh, sandwich wrap. So I want to thank Sarah, the owner, and also Jessica and Denise for getting me these amazing products. And I haven't actually tried them. I'm going to show you how to use them. They are an alternative to plastic wrap. They're sustainable food storage. And they're made with beeswax, cloth, um, jojoba oil, and tree resin. And they come in different sizes depending on your needs. And I'm going to tell you more about how this all came about and uh, how you can use it. And here's a really nice little um, flyer or little card, actually, I should say, that's showing you... Um, some of the uses for the wrap and as well in the back here. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this. I have took some notes from their site. So um, it's a wrap that you could use um, uh, to wrap your sandwich, your produce, cover a bowl. And I'm going to show you how to use that. And what's it made of? It's made of a GOTS, it's G-O-T-S, with capital, certified organic cotton. Sustainably sourced beeswax from the U.S., organic jojoba oil and tree resin. The combination makes a malleable food wrap that can be used again and again. And they, she told me, and it says on here that it's good for about a year. Um, and how do you take care of it? You wash it in cool water and mild soap. Avoid hot water and microwaves. You air dry and fold and store in a drawer or in a basket on the counter. And the beeswax and jojoba oil have antibacterial qualities to help keep the food fresh and also to use, be able to use it. And how long does it last? About a year. And about the scent, there people might can be concerned about beeswax has a scent. When you first open it, it smells like beeswax, but it'll fade after a few uses. And then you can no longer detect it. The beeswax scent will change with the season which, which, with it was harvested. And um, so it carries the scent of flowers from which the bees harvest pollen. Most are okay with it, but if you're sensitive, then you know maybe it's not something for you. Oh, and then as far as the size you should use, it depends on your needs. So, like I said, it comes in um, this one side, this assorted pack that I got. Um, it comes with a small, which is 7 by 8, a medium, 10 by 11, and a large for 13 by 14. And uh, it's also not recommended for meat. I'm a vegan, so that wouldn't affect me, but just so you know. So, I'm going to open this up to show you. It comes in this uh, package that's also, you can recycle, so there's no, no waste. So, it comes all wrapped up. And it does smell like beeswax. And uh, they, they come in different uh, colors. She has some here on this picture. Let's see. It comes like in a stripe here. It comes in this color. And I have the, I guess, the traditional one. So I'm going to open it up. They come three all packed up. So here's how it comes out. So here's the large one. This is the large one. And then this is the medium one. And then this is the small one. And what does it say on here? Hand wash it, reuse for a year. Okay, keep it away from heat. We already said that. Do not use for cutting on, so it's not meant for cutting. Um, and it says a bee fact, in case you want to know, a honeybee can fly up to six miles and as fast as 15 miles per hour. That's pretty amazing. So now to show you what we can use it for. Um, Let's see if there's anything else I wanted to tell you before I do that. I'm going to put that down here. Let's see my notes here if I have anything else to tell you. So, um, yeah, then I'll tell you some other information. So, what's it used for different things? So, the small one can be used to wrap a half a lemon, an end of a cucumber, um, and half an onion. And she says even the onion won't, won't hold the smell of the bees wrap. Half avocado uh, on a small bowl, carrot sticks, or other snack items. So I do have, happen to have some lemon here, just to show you. This is some lemon that I have that I have in a cup. Now what I could do is I could just take this wrap, and what she says is when you put it on, the warmth of your hand will actually secure it. And I'll show you that. So as I press it with my hand, you know, it'll, it'll seal. It, that's why it's uh, flexible, you see, and there it is. It's in the, uh, it's holding, it does not come off. Oops, sorry, I'm not in the camera. But the other thing I could do with it as well, and I love it already, by the way, so thank you. Um, what I can do as well is take the actual lemon and wrap it. So there you go. You can take it like that. So, 
So that's for the small. And then for the medium, so I have a bowl here with some melon in it with a plate on top, a glass plate, but that may not be as secure. So what I can do is I can take the medium one, and I don't think it matters which side you put it on. Um, and I can just put that around the bowl. You can see I'm going to press it around. I'll show you that. Sorry, my face isn't in it. But to show you, I'm pressing it around the bowl to secure it. And then you just keep pressing it. And the warmth of your hands will create a seal around the bowl. So you see, just like that. So there it is, sealed onto the bowl. So that's for the uh, medium one. So I didn't tell you what else you could put the medium one for. The medium one uh, to cover a bowl, a half a sandwich, baked goods if you have, a half a cabbage or cantaloupe itself. Um, then the large one can be used to cover a large bowl, a pie dish, wrap your celery, a half a watermelon. So I don't have anything like that to use that for. So I'm not going to uh, demonstrate this, although I, I could, I guess, I mean, I have a cucumber here that could actually be used for the uh, smaller one. So, like, I can just put the cucumber on here to cover it up. Like, if you don't want to put it in a plastic bag, you can just cover up the cucumber just like that around the actual vegetable. So, so yeah, I don't have anything big, although I, I do have a bowl over here that I could show you. I have a bowl, so I could just take the wrap like if this is something I wanted to store in the fridge and this bowl doesn't have a cover, so then I could just take the bees wrap and just press it around the bowl and just secure it just like that. And you gotta keep pressing it. So what they say is that uh, wrap will hold it shaped when it cools, creating a seal. So it has to cool off. So I guess right now it's not holding the seal very well, but as it cools it will hold it. So right now I guess there's too much warmth, so it's not, it's not holding it right now, but it will as it cools off. So that's just to show you how that works. So then the final one I have is their uh, sandwich wrap, which is, uh, can wrap your sandwich for lunch and then tie it up. It has a tie and then you can also use it as a placemat. So they show you here in the picture that you can put your sandwich and you tie it up and then you could use it as a placemat. And I don't know exactly what the size is. Oh, it's 13 by 13 wrap. So then it has this nice little tie with a bee on it. So that, and I don't have any sandwich. I don't usually eat bread. So what I would use it for, you could also use it as a placemat when you eat. Uh, you could also use anything. It's large enough. It's 13 by uh, 13, so it's almost as big as the large wrap, so you could use it for other things. They also have a bread wrap, which is uh, larger, uh, 17 by 23, and it can also be used for dough when you're rising your dough, a casserole dish, also as a mat for rolling out your crust, like when you're doing your dough, which is very good. And also they have a baguette wrap, which I don't have either. That's 14 by 26, so what they say is that the crust will stay crusty and the inside will stay soft. You can also wrap uh, celery sticks in it, so that's another thing you can do. And uh, to tell you more, so um, when Sarah was trying to come up with this idea of what to do about plastic, she wanted to eliminate from the kitchen, so she wanted to find a better way to store food. So she discovered it in her own Vermont kitchen from a lost tradition, so that's why she came up with the idea of using cotton uh, with beeswax. And it's also available in over 700 stores in the U.S. and distributed internationally all over the world and handcrafted in Vermont. Uh, they are com very much committed to sustainability, so um, their business practices are according to that, and they believe that business can be a vehicle of social change and better the lives of the customers, employees, the community, and the planet. And definitely, Sarah has done it with these pro this product, because it's just fantastic. It's also certified by Green America, which is a nat national nonprofit promoting environmental sustainability, social and economic justice. And also, she's pursuing a non-toxic certification from a company called Made Safe America, which is the first comprehensive human health-focused certification for non-toxic products. Awesome. So it is reusable, biodegradable, and compostable. And the packaging is also 100% recycled material and plastic-free. So that is just fantastic. So I want to see if I forgot anything to tell you about the product that I haven't already told you. So here, actually, they show as well a picture with wrapping the cucumber, wrapping the bowl, so you see. So yeah, as it, as, like I said, as it cools, it will 
stick to the bowl. Right now, I guess it's not cool enough for it to stick. Um, although it's sticking pretty good. You know, it, it's not, it's, it, it's going to take maybe a little time. I don't know how long it takes to actually cool. So that's the product. Uh, I think it's awesome. And even though it's bees, even though I'm a vegan and it's, it comes from bees, the beeswax, I think it's a great concept because it is sustainable and it's very strong. Um, to wrap your items and like say very pliable so it bends you know so it conforms to whatever you put around it which I think is awesome and the fact that it comes in these different sizes and you can order them as a three pack you can order the single sizes as well if you want to package it just as one certain size but I think having the, the uh, three different sizes is good to have uh, for different things that you're going to use at home so um, and also I forgot to mention I will have a link below this video to their website so you can check out the products and find out where you can purchase them and uh, definitely get some great alternative you know last longer than, than other things even plastic bags we're trying to get away from plastics we're trying to do something better for the planet so I think this is something that is really fantastic and I hope uh, you will definitely look into getting some yourself and using it and I thank you for watching it's the Rossum Vegan Gal